Welcome to Barrel Engine. What do we have here? This is the crankshaft out of a Caterpillar D342 engine. It's a 20.4 liter inline six cylinder diesel. It is the power plant for two legendary Caterpillar bulldozers, the D8H and the D8K. For comparison's sake, this is the crankshaft out of a Cummins M11. It powers medium and heavy duty semis and trucks. This is a Chevy 350 crankshaft. The size difference here is just remarkable, not only in length, but overall mass. This crankshaft weighs over 490 pounds. It's got a stroke of eight inches. The rod journals are 3.623 inches and the mains are 4.259 inches. Connecting rods for this engine are 15 inches center to center and they weigh over 40 pounds each. The bore is 5.75 inches and the pistons weigh over 11 pounds. All together, the rotating assembly in this engine is well over 800 pounds. That mass, along with the power that the D342 produces, allow it to push these 70 to 80,000 pound bulldozers and a whole lot of dirt. We recently did a video previewing the work that we do on tractor pulling crankshafts. That was a nine liter John Deere. Obviously this is significantly larger. That video led people to ask, well, how large can we go? Well, crankshafts do get much, much larger than this. But for us, our crankshaft grinders have a capacity of 82 inches. This is 74. So we can go a little larger than this, but this is pretty much the largest that we end up working on. You're probably wondering why this has got a dull brown finish to it. It's because it's covered in cosmoline. That protects it from rusting. This is actually one of our core inventory cranks. We keep an inventory of cores available so that if a customer comes in with a bad crank that we can't repair, we have an economical solution for them on hand. In the past, I watched a lot of YouTube and I constantly see the plug for like and subscribe and it gets tiresome to listen to it. But now that we're developing this channel, I understand how important it is. 